14th. Many of you are out on the road at the moment. If you are, please be careful. You shouldn't be watching this anyway, but uh, starting off with a rainy day here in St. Pete, Florida. I'm Scott Roberts. My wife and I own Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center here in downtown St. Pete, where we help people feel better, move better, and be better with therapeutic massage, corrective exercise, stretching, reflexology, and many, many more. Um, please grab yourself a rope, a strap, or a belt. And while you're doing that, uh, I'll tell you that we're at 19 Dr. MLK Jr. Street South. You can find us online at www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. You can give us a phone call at 727-822-8866 to schedule an appointment. And uh, we will be glad to help you out. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I try to come on here and uh, do a, a live stretching session with you. Uh, for one, to keep myself accountable and keep myself uh, practicing and and uh, taking care of my body. I think that's important. And then uh, hoping to be an example to the rest of you out there to do uh, the same. So let's go ahead and grab your strap or rope. Feet, hands should be a little bit more shoulder width apart. Let's reach out towards the ceiling. Try to touch the ceiling or sky above you. <sighs> Elongate the spine. Come on up to your toes if you like, get a little bit more reach. <sighs> gravity is always working against us, so we need to work against gravity a little bit. Put your feet a little bit more in shoulder width apart. Lean to the left. <sighs> left side, side bend. And let's go to the right. All right, bring your arms down to shoulder height. Let's turn and twist that torso all the way to the left as far as you can. And then all the way to the right. Locate that spine. All right. Grab the end of the strap or rope in your right hand. Reach overhead. Let that strap dangle back here behind you. Reach back with your left hand. With your right, I want you to try to reach between your shoulder blades and you use the strap in your left hand to assist. Let's reverse it, bring that right hand down to your belt line. Strap goes over your left shoulder. Let's reach up from the bottom. Bring that elbow up to shoulder height. Stay bent at 90 degrees. We're gonna rotate the shoulder in other words, your elbow is going to stay in the same spot. We're going to reach back behind us with that right hand. <sighs> Using the left hand on the strap to assist that range of motion. And add just a little bit of pressure on the end of, the, of it. <sighs> Open that up. Join up. Left hand overhead. Reaching down between the shoulder blades. I'm only doing three reps of each. 
mainly to keep us moving and on track. You should do more repetitions of the stretches that you need the most or where you need the most range of motion. They'll usually feel pretty good when you're engaging in those stretches as well. And you can do multiple sets. You don't have to do just one set. Do a set of eight to 10. Okay, find yourself a spot on the wall. Let's put your palm on the, flat on the wall with your fingers pointing back behind you. Standing 90 degrees, facing 90 degrees, parallel with the wall, sorry. Step forward with the left foot and then gently turn your chest away from the wall. Switch sides. Left hand on the wall, right foot forward. Okay, head and neck rotation. You're gonna turn your head to the left, reach up with your hands on each side of your head and gently assist yourself. To the right. Lateral flexion of the head and neck. So your left ear is going to go towards your right, left shoulder, excuse me, left to left. And notice that in all movements, I'm engaging in the movement and then using the assistance at the end. We're not using our hands or the strap to create the movement itself. To the right. Okay, down on the floor. These are some really good stretches of the legs and hips. So you're going to take the strap and you go around the ball of the foot. So if you find the middle of your strap or rope, you can do it this way. If you um, buy one of these straps from OPTP, they're called stretch out straps. I'm sure there's others out there, but uh, you can get them from OPTP.com or you can come here to the office and buy them. I sell them. And then you can just hang the strap over the, ball, the toes of your foot right on the ball of the foot. All right, so we want to flex the foot towards the head and neck. So it's called dorsiflexion. We've got dorsal fin on a fish. Most commonly or, or most well known is the shark dorsal fin, of course. All right, lie back on your back. Lift that right leg up towards your right shoulder. Keep that right leg straight. I'm going to do a few more of these because I can really use them. Did a lot of walking yesterday. Did some more walking this morning. Okay, we're gonna take the strap around the inside of the ankle towards the outside of the hip underneath the calf there. Straighten that leg out. Now we're gonna lift that right leg towards the nose.
Really try hard to keep that leg straight. That way you'll get the stretch you need out of it. If you bend your knee, you won't get the stretch. Okay. Take the strap around the outside of the ankle between your legs and underneath the calf there. Now we're gonna lift that right leg towards the left shoulder. So cross body a little bit, up and over. Notice that we're also holding these stretches only for a couple seconds. All right, now we're gonna do our scissor stretches where we're gonna scissor the right leg over the left. It's important to keep your hips flat on the floor. So the first angle is gonna be just above the opposite leg. So right leg up and left leg across. Now we're gonna bring that right leg up to 45 degrees and scissor across. Remember to breathe. It's always best if you can exhale as you engage in the stretch. Now bring that leg up to 90 degrees or as close to 90 as you're able to get it while keeping it straight. And then scissor across. Lift, scissor, hold for two seconds and release. All right, now we're gonna stretch the inside of the thigh, the upper thigh there, the groin. Take that strap around the inside of the ankle and back under the calf again. We're going to lift the right leg to where the heel skims across the floor to the right. Half of a split. Bend your knees, put your right ankle on top of your left knee. Take the strap off the, the foot for the moment. I want you to put your right hand on the inside of your right knee, your left hand on the shin. Bring your knee closer to the middle of your body. And now let's rotate the hip by pulling that right foot closer to the left shoulder. Let's switch legs. Take that strap over the ball of the left foot. Left leg towards the left shoulder. Here we go. Since that up one more hand hold there. Strap around the inside of the ankle. Now that left leg is going to go towards the midline, towards your nose.
All right, the strap comes back out and goes around the outside of the ankle in between the legs. And now the left leg is going to go towards the right shoulder. Okay, we're going to do our scissor stretches now. So the left leg is going to come up just high enough to scissor across the top of the right. Make sure you keep that back flat on the floor. Up to 45 degrees, scissor across. up to 90 degrees or as close to 90 as you're able to get. All right, strap comes out, goes around the inside of the ankle. Half of a split on the left side, so straighten that leg back out. Let's skim the heel just above the floor there. Bend those knees, left ankle onto the right knee. Do that hip rotation here real quick. You can set the strap aside, you're done with it. Let's take your left hand on the inside of your knee and the right hand on the left shin. And pull that left foot closer to the right shoulder. Morning. <laughs> it's wet outside, Mom. Okay, honey. She has been like, she's been getting puppy. Come here, Dory. I know, I got puppy interruptus. I got puppy interruptus. I know, it's scary out there, isn't it? That thunder. All right. Sorry for the interruption. That's okay. I love you. Oh, go see your mama. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Daddy loves you. Yes. Go with mama. Come on. All right. So come on up to your knees, please. I'm sure just like me, um, if you're at home, you have kids, spouses, dogs, cats, all wanting to come participate and help you out. So we don't mind uh, a little bit of that along the way. So take your right foot out in front of your, your knee, facing forward. Pulling your head towards the ceiling, keeping your body upright. Push forward with your hips, settling down into that valley a little bit and stretch the front of your left hip. Ease back out of it and then push forward and ease back into it. Let's do a couple more. All right, right knee down, left foot forward. Gently push forward. 
these should feel really good if you're spending a lot of time sitting. Okay. Good job. So that's going to complete the uh, stretching portion of our segment today. Now we're going to do a little bit of uh, some corrective exercise, okay? So one of the things I really like to do and teach my clients very regularly, regularly, especially if they're experiencing neck and shoulder upper back pain, or if they're getting that rounding of the shoulders, is called a belly angel. So come on down to your belly, bring your elbows out to the side, bent at 90 degrees with your palms and forearms on the floor. And as you exhale, I want you to lift your head, your chest, and your arms away from the floor. So squeeze everything towards the ceiling. Ready? This will help tremendously with your posture. Another common problem that people have is lower back pain. The biggest problem the reason that people tend to have lower back pain besides injuries is a weakened core, okay? So it's very important that you do things to help strengthen your core. We're gonna go into a plank. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a modified plank. Put your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms and forearms on the floor. Keep your knees on the floor and lift your hips away from the floor, creating a straight line from the back of your knees to the back of your head. And the goal is, is to hold this as long as you can. And you'll know that you're doing it right if you start to feel that little bit of a quiver between your ribs and your hips and the belly there, okay? You're actively squeezing the muscles on your, of your thighs, front and back, squeezing your glutes, Squeezing your stomach, right? Tightening it. All along the spine, head and neck. Keep keeping it in alignment. Good. And wherever you need to, just set your hips down, take a couple deep breaths, come right back into it. Obviously, if you're able to, it's even more effective if you lift your, hip, your knees up off the ground when you lift your hips up. Okay, so here we go. Like anything else, to include the stretching, the more frequently and consistently that you do this, the stronger and more capable you'll get. The longer you'll be able to hold it, and the healthier you'll be, the less pain you'll have, the less discomfort you'll have, okay? And the better you'll be able to do the things you wanna do. So I started uh, a, couple, a couple weeks ago, um, there's a, thing going around, it's been going around for quite a while uh, to help bring awareness to veteran suicide. Unfortunately, there's 22 veterans that commit suicide every single day in our country. It sounds like a very high number to me to think that every single week uh, over uh, 150 veterans commit suicide. So that's a lot in a week. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things that um, veterans can struggle with. Um, as a result of being in a combat situation. So we're gonna do 22 push-ups every single time I do one of these videos. Please join me. Do them on your knees if you need to, up on your toes if you can, and let's crank out 22 push-ups, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Do them at your own pace. If you need to take a quick little break and do some more, please do that. Come on down to your knees if you need to do some more. Whatever you need to do to get them done, all right? And uh, if you happen to know a veteran, more importantly, you know, look for the signs. Um, be there, lend a listening ear. And if nothing else, just let them know that you love them and care about them. Okay, hope you have a great day and we'll see you on Wednesday.